What is up, everybody? It's the 4th of July. This video probably won't be posting for another couple days because it's going to take a while to upload and process in 5.3K, but we are with my friend Brian right here. Say hi, Brian. <laughs> so, Brian is actually taking us behind some locked gates um, into the forest where it hasn't been opened for maybe 30 plus years. So we're getting to do something very special today. Um, Brian is basically the main supplier for all the firewood to all the firewood shops in the Big Bear area. Um, this dude has a work ethic like no other. He's the one who got me unstuck when I was stuck during that huge snowstorm in February or January, whatever it was. Um, so yeah, lifesaver, a gentle giant, and when I say giant, I mean a giant. How tall are you? Six, yeah, <laughs> he's he's a foot taller than me. He's six foot six. Um, the dude's just 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 a uh, just a man amongst men, man amongst children. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna be going behind some locked gates over by Jenks Lake. Right now, we're on Highway 38, heading that way right now. I know this is stuff that a lot of you absolutely love. I'm excited, you guys. I'd, I'd never get a chance to go back here if it wasn't for him. Um, he's literally, like, he says that he needs to check back here anyway for, like, certain stuff for his um, for his logging business and stuff. But um, I have a feeling that he's doing a lot of this just for us, you guys. Like, like that's... This... This is Big Bear right here, you guys. So, um, also, I'm gonna post at the very end of this video, or in the description, um, Brian's firewood business. So all of you homeowners up here, um, you can get really good quality firewood at a fair price from Brian directly. Um, he's, he's as local as they are, and uh, I always tell you guys, I want you guys to support the good people who actually do a lot for our town, who care a lot about you guys, who realize without the tourism up here that it's 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 a hard pill to swallow to live up here because the income is just not there without you guys. So thank you guys a whole ton. But right now we are headed down Highway 38 and I will turn it back on once we get towards uh, towards our, uh, our turnout. And we'll be turning it on and off, on and off throughout this this drive so i hope you guys enjoy it once again happy fourth of july to all of you god bless america and uh talk to you soon peace all right guys we are through one of the locked gates as i said this is an area where uh, i guarantee you no one has been back here who watches this channel at least for over 20 years so i'm very excited to get to show you guys something that no one else will really be able to show you unless they work for the forestry department. <coughs> we are right behind Jenks Lake, you guys. Never even seen Jenks Lake until just now. On our way back, I'll try to show you guys a little clip of the lake. It's a beautiful little lake. This is one of the locations where Brian's gonna come back here to grab firewood. And right now we're just kind of scouting it out. And uh, cause he has to bring really heavy, uh, like big ass, big tractors back here. And he just wants to see how the road is. And, the, and it's, it's paved most of the way, he said, which is really, really surprising to me. I thought it was going to be a dirt road most of the time, but it still has a lot of pavement. Wow. Wow, you can see where lots of char over here. So one of the big fires 
we had up here you guys which is a lot of fires i can't remember exactly when but i'm thinking this was one of the fires while i lived here when i first moved up here just after 2015 i remember driving most of highway 38 and it was completely completely charred i'll tell you what though it was such a beautiful smell it smelled like christmas time just firewood smell but fires are no no bueno even though it is natural well i, I, I mean it's it, it's a natural process even though lots of times it's because of accidental and, and and the worst of all arson that's something that we never want to see oh wow is that sugarloaf on the other side of the yeah mountain. yeah okay Oh, oh, okay, that's where we're at, okay. So guys, looking straight over there, we're looking at the back of like Bear Mountain and Snow Summit over there. And we're using the wonderful GoPro you guys remember me talking a little smack about these GoPros, how they overheat like crazy. I thought I was just having bad luck and I was doing something wrong, but no. I, I watched a bunch of YouTube videos with a lot of people really upset about how GoPro hasn't done anything about the overheating. Wow, look at all that. Look at all those trees that were burned, you guys. That's all fire, right? Wow. And would would that be San San Gorgonio up there? Or just yeah, higher up? It'll be on the back side. On the back side, okay. Wow, it's so pretty back here. <laughs> Brian, thanks man. Look at that guys, look at where all this fire. That's unbelievable. It really feels like I'm in a different mountain range right now, you guys. This is amazing. We really owe Brian a huge debt of gratitude, you guys. He, he, he didn't have to do this for me. He volunteered, and, and this man is so busy all the time. I mean, look at that. So most of the firewood you guys end up buying when you're in, in Big Bear is actually firewood that this man has produced for you guys. Most of the time. Again, I'm gonna put his information in the description of this video. Um, Cause not only can you get great firewood, but chances are you'll get to meet a really really cool cool dude he's obviously really busy you guys um but uh telling you what as i said a, a, a gentle giant just just a beautiful heart nice nice human being someone we're very lucky to know i can tell you that size of this fire and this is hardly anything if I remember this burned hundreds and hundreds of thousands of acres we're just looking at one side of it too Snow melt right here, you guys. See where this little stream's coming from? Okay. And then 
down there too. Wow. Yeah, we'll go way higher than you can see the view. Yeah, guys, we're gonna be going up a lot higher. I am. I'm excited to see this view. This is gonna be amazing. Do you have any idea what elevation you're possibly gonna hit? Like nine. A little over eight, dude. Dude, that's awesome. That's awesome. Wow. Okay. Onyx, I think, is eight thousand four hundred and forty feet, right? some forestry cabins up, up here you guys on the left hand side that we're gonna end up checking out I'm telling you, this is this is a huge area here man sure yeah heck yeah heck yeah all right guys we're gonna take a walk down to obviously we don't need to walk to roll up the windows right all right, fine. All right. hang on guys i'm gonna take take my take a sip of my spritey you want your drink back huh okay Sounds good. Alrighty. Alright, you guys. And I was thinking we're not gonna have to, to worry about bears because this guy is larger than the bears. So I didn't I wore my freaking I didn't even think about it. Alright. Wow. So Brian was also telling me, you guys, that uh, because there's not any human traffic back here really other than the few forestry people every now and again, wild animals are abundant back here. Bobcats and... I need a lot of ice cream. There's a bunch in front of us. Oh, no way. Yeah. And a lot of hikers. He can see over this huge, <laughs> this huge bush right here. I wish you guys could smell this. It smells so nice back here. Keep, keep my eyes peeled, keep our eyes peeled for snakes. So what's the purpose of these forestry cabins, Brian? Well, I'm not quite sure about these ones. Okay. It might be for the Jinx Lake people who clean up the flute on the top of the mountain. That allows the water to go down there. Okay. It's, it's been here for so long. It's been for a long time. Wow. Guys, how cool is this? I'd never have a chance to come back here unless I uh, maybe hiked way back here. But where the gates are closed, you're not supposed to technically hike back there, right? Well, the main trail is down on the bottom, and they're able to hike it all the way to this end and go in the hill. Okay, so, okay. So it's a popular hiking trail for people that start it outside the gate. Okay. <coughs> Just here to clear up the rest of the wood that's on the sides of the roads. 
and then you use that wood as well as the trees that have the blue markers on it for, for your firewood? Yeah, I normally just buy the log decks one by one through forestry and then come out, check the road, make sure my tractor can come out here and then haul it away. And that's what we're doing today, guys, checking the road to see uh, what what he's, he's gonna have to deal with with his tractor. Wow, man, look at this. Yeah, heck yeah. And they look like they're in, in really good shape, too. Yeah, I never came down here. Hopefully we don't find Charles Manson inside here. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, okay. See a bunch of hikers over there, you guys? Very cool. Wow, look at this. Little house on the prairie. So the doors are open. Yeah, let me, let me show them this sign real quick. So with the signs, you guys, don't forget to uh, screenshot it and then zoom in so you can see everything. Wow. Wow. Horse Meadow Historic Site. Pretty cool. Wow. Oh, yeah, dude. This is awesome. Wow, guys, look at this. I know at nighttime I'd be super creeped out to be here. Awesome. I mean, awesome, awesome. Little picnic bench here. Already this darn GoPro is burning up my hand. Such a joke. And this is the Hero 11, the newest one. Look at how tall this, this grass is growing. This is just so beautiful over here. Big old attic up there too. Look at this. What are the, do you know what these bars are for? Well that sign says horse meadow historic site. Oh you know what? I bet that's where they keep the uh, saddles and stuff like that then. Maybe, I don't know. Oh, sorry. Wow, very cool. Got nice airflow in here. I mean, imagine walking out of your house and this is what it looks like. This is amazing. Yeah, thanks for that, Brian. Yeah, the trail. Heck yeah. Special access. Ooh. All right. All right, guys, we just overheated for the first time in less than 20 minutes. Battery is smoking hot. I'm telling you all, you need to be very careful. You need to really consider your options when you're, when you're getting one of these action cameras because uh, I know a lot of us will spend a good amount of money to do certain things and go certain places. And if your goal is to be recording what you're doing, you might have a rude awakening. 
spending all that money and then at the end of it realizing your camera died and you don't get any of the footage. Nice breeze. So you guys know, for basically 99% of my driving in the snow videos, I use my iPhone. And I never have overheating issues. I've Actually, that's not true. I, I had... I've had it a couple times. I'm trying to remember what the scenarios were, but it wasn't just regular recording. Look at my altimeter on my phone real quick. Let's see exactly where we're at right now. Altimeter. The cool thing about my altimeter is it'll work without any uh, cell phone service. 7,457. All right, you guys. Look at this truck, it's such a beast. <coughs> Oh, let me okay yeah that was really cool man so those were forest forestry service cabins you guys and now upwards and onwards onwards and upwards you have your seatbelt on for safety you know what? It's it's just it's a it's a habit. It's a habit. <laughs> Not a bad habit to get into, you know. <laughs> don't don't be insulted. I know you're a safe driver. <laughs> no, I get tired of them locking up on me. Oh, you know what? I can see that on, on roads like this, yeah. It used to be a what over here? Big log deck. So I know this is going to sound dumb, but what's a log deck? It's a deck stacked with a bunch of trees. Ah, okay, okay. So it is what it, okay, okay. Guys, we're climbing. We are definitely climbing. So we just crossed another hiking trail. Yeah, so once again, we're looking out over uh, like the backside of our ski resorts.
Hope you guys are enjoying this. This is so pretty out here. It's so massive out here too. So with what you're doing right now, Brian, what exactly are you looking for on this drive? Just seeing what log decks I have left that are available. Okay, okay, okay. Before I determine if I want to bring the tractor down here or just in a trailer behind a truck. I'm not just taking what's left I didn't take last year. Okay. surrounding these burnt trees though is just spectacular it is so green you guys this part of this mountain range gets hit first before the storms get to us and this this part of the mountain range actually really takes a lot more of the storm and kind of sucks out most of the moisture before it even gets to us over there because we're on the other side of those mountains right there we we get the last of it you guys if big bear was situated where crestline is but at the same elevation we'd probably get i mean as as much snow as lake tahoe probably not mammoth but lake tahoe but we get the 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 beep end of the stick And then remember, we have that huge desert right on the other side of our mountain range next to us, which that all that dry, dry air eats up all our storms. So our storms have a really hard time to push through the whole valley, which is why you'll always see that Baldwin has less snow every storm, except for maybe one out of every hundred storms like significantly less snow than my house and very significantly less snow compared to the Big Bear Dam. Ah, oh, look at that. Look at that beautiful snow right there. Are there any trails that, the driving trails that go up to the top? Hard bar goes pretty close. You follow that one all the way up there. It takes you down to Mission Springs and Fish Creek. That would be awesome. How's that road usually? Way worse than this one. Way, way worse than this one, he says, guys. Wow, look at that view. Oh my gosh. You can see the San Gabriel's over there, guys. Dude, this is absolutely beautiful, man. Forgive the wind, you guys, but I'm gonna put you guys outside the window for a couple minutes.
hiked back here somehow and brought a tent and stuff. Is that something that is not allowed? No, people do it all the time because they uh, camp back here and they uh, hunt. And they hunt back here, okay. And they take this trail to the San Antonio Trail. Okay, okay. Or it walks over to Hard Barn. Don't you guys get a bit of a sensation like you're in the Rocky Mountains right now? I do. I used to live out there. And I'm feeling it right now. This is great. I mean, seriously, this is so incredible, Brian. Wow. This trail's in great shape, huh, guys? Okay, so we are pretty much at the end here. Are you the only person that grabs these these log decks back here? No, I buy them through forestry and I tend to try to buy all of them so no one else can get them. Are there just like every industry? Are there shady people? No. Okay. Uh, good. Industry gives everyone a fair opportunity to buy the log decks, so emails will be posted out to people they know that do what I do, and then it's up to you to contact Forestry and make the arrangements and buy the logs. I see. Yeah, I never had an issue with Forestry. The Forestry is really good. Guys, look at how charred some of these trees. I mean, this. Well, I'll tell you what, from all of this death in the mountain, it brings so much more future beauty and growth and good for the ecosystem up here. Because even without our, our accidental fires, like reveal parties for people's babies and stuff like that, and arson, um, these wildfires are of a natural uh, uh, occurrence and it's something actually necessary for these, for these forests. Do you know what the cause of our fire that we just had was up above Bear? Okay. I heard it was potentially a, a prescribed burn gone a little wrong. Burns back on okay. Yeah, see, I wasn't thinking that either, but th that's what someone told me. Yeah, okay, good. Okay. Now I don't think that anymore. So Brian said that there's another trail that he takes that goes up to, to, to basically just about if not to where we saw all that snow up there I bet that view is ridiculous too way higher than this one yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 100 to 300 foot cliffs on either side of it oh jeez yeah it's the <laughs> yeah guys there's so much to explore in this mountain range and uh With the help of friends like Brian, I'll get to see some of this stuff. I mean, look at that. So, we just had another overheat, you guys. Fantastic GoPro, fantastic.
great little area. Pitch a tent right here on the edge, you guys. I'm keeping you guys out the window to try to keep Those will cool off by yeah, so that's uh that's why I, I was able to change it nine times on the hike. <laughs> now what's horrible is that the GoPro videos as it as it records, it doesn't save the videos in order. So on, on that four hour hike there were about 30 30 clips and I had to watch everyone individually for a, a, a little bit to see which one goes next and which one goes next. It's just a nightmare. A lot of things GoPro doesn't do well. I will say that. You guys, I don't think I've seen any better views in this whole area since I've lived up here. So definitely owe this guy a huge thank you. Huge thank you. I remember one more thing. We are very, like, we on this channel are super lucky to be back here on this road in particular because uh, I, as I said, I guarantee you no one on this channel has has been back here unless you work for the forestry service driving, driving wise yeah you can, hike here you can hike here whenever but uh you can't drive back here we are a little extra special today I, I feel good about that you know don't know what i did to deserve this but i will accept it with as much gratitude in my heart as i can have Guys, we're in a truck that can basically go anywhere. This thing is this thing is bad age.
up here from those those little snow melt streams are okay water to drink. Like if if you're stuck up here. Not a nice truck. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Maybe. I did a wilderness program called Outward Bound when I was 13 years old for three weeks. We like climbed mountains, repelled, whitewater rafted, and uh, we would scoop water up from the Deschutes River and put like five drops of iodine in it, wait 20 or 30 minutes, and then uh, drink away. And yeah, because you, you, you can get dysentery and all that horrible, horrible stuff. I, I just didn't, I didn't realize that even from a fresh, without any humans touching it, that you would still need something to, to kind of purify it a bit. I am no bear girl. You guys, get your hiking stuff and get your butts up here. Magical back here. It really is. Oh yeah. Brian just said it. It looks better in the snow. And you know what? I, man, especially the elevation that we were just at, at about 8,000 feet. My gosh, I bet there's so much snow up here. So much. So that leads me to believe you've been back here in the snow then. <laughs> wow, man. I've only been back here until the end of November or the first week of December when I had my permits extended. When we had like maybe the three inch dusting. Okay. Here. Okay. So I had like five inches. Okay. But I got all my stuff out of here before we got hit hard after uh, December. Did you hear there, was it you who was who was telling me usually how it works here is when we get a huge winter, the next winter is usually very similar? Yeah. Yeah. So from someone with a lot of experience up here, you guys, keep your fingers crossed. I, for what I love, I love all, all the snow, even though, believe it or not, I got a little sick of it, you guys. I was uh, especially feeling claustrophobic when I couldn't leave my house or drive anywhere. Um, but I'm hoping we have another monster season like that and uh, Yeah Hopeful, but we'll see we'll see Chances are are good if history repeats itself like it does over and over again. We should have a good season I know you're eventually going to, but if you want any company on that heart bar one, um, I, I, I mean, I know it's going to take more time, but uh, it does a lot worse, a lot more fun, bouncy. You guys hear that? So, that one trail that goes up to where the snow is up there, or very close to it at least. Um, it, it, it can get pretty hectic with some nasty, nasty road, as well as uh, if you make any any error, you can literally tumble down thousands of feet on each side. Crazy.
these cameras have a killer stabilizer too. So when I watch this, you probably won't see my see the camera going up and down like that. It's 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 it's, it's great technology. It's just the overheating is just such a nightmare. guys so he's, he's gonna go out of his way a little bit more for us because I really wanted to see Jenks Lake at least to get a nice view of Jenks Lake breeze right here it's a beautiful little lake and there's a lot of people down there So we're gonna make this a, a super quick, quick little look because uh, he's already gone way out of his way for us, and he's he's doing this. But I'm sure he has a lot that he has to get done. So thank you, Brian. Is it a long walk? I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I'm down to do that for sure. Thanks again, man. No, I'll wait here for you. Okay. All right, I'll be right back. All right, guys, we're gonna take a little walk over here to see Jenks. If it's if I don't get too good of a view, or if it's gonna be too far. We're just gonna turn around, but we're gonna try and look. Thanks, Brian. What's up? <laughs> so I was gonna go this way, but the lake's over here. <laughs> Boy, do I feel like a moron. He's like, uh, the lake's over here, buddy. Oh, there's the lake. Yeah, I wonder which way should we go guys left or right. I think we're gonna go right here Oh, you can kind of see it a little bit through there. I didn't bring an extra battery. Great. It's gonna overheat. I know it I brought these shoes that are a little big for me and they're slip-ons, so it's not that comfortable. If we get enough battery life, we'll uh, 
stare at these so actually i'll get it for you guys right now remember screenshot it so you guys can zoom in and read these i don't have time to keep the camera going like this so hang on we're gonna just shut it off till we get down there hang on all right you guys we just made it down it looks as if they have a a dock that, that we can walk over which will be pretty awesome how you guys doing good, good man thank you you're an awesome dad man right. <laughs> totally bro all right look at this wow wow oh this is something special what a great looking lake. Guys, this is so gorgeous. These little benches to sit down here. Enjoying some fishing down here. I'm gonna take one more little walk around here because the camera's about to die. I can feel it in my hand. Drums a long time. Mm -hmm. and there's really no need. It's kind of a hassle to take well, it apart. I wouldn't change it. I wouldn't change it. It's awesome. Drums have been running for years. Mm -hmm. you know what I, mean? I mean, it's reliable. Oh, I see. Yeah. I can see. Right. So, but this is nice. But if you're doing a lot of high speed stuff, this is the best because they hook up. No, sir. I just. Just like the way the disc looks. I, I, I honestly, me, I just like the way uh, it's gonna look the same from the front end to the rear end. Right. Cause it's gonna look awkward that if I have some really nice uh, disc brakes in the front. Right. And it's gonna jump on the back. Like Guys, this is something else. This is as peaceful as it gets in this mountain range. I'm telling you right now, this is something special. I never imagined that we that this lake is so beautiful like this. This is Jenks Lake. All right, well, let's make like Tom and Cruise. that go down to different parts of the lake here but we're gonna be heading up we're gonna take these stairs up we're gonna try and keep the camera going hopefully it makes it back to the truck I doubt it so if you guys get one of these GoPros you guys please make sure you buy two or three extra batteries so as soon as the battery overheats you can just pop another one in right away instead of having to wait 15 minutes for it to cool down
No swimming, huh? So you gotta pay to come park down here. I don't know if you have to pay in this upper part, but maybe you do. Beautiful. I got to get right now. So as soon as we got back in the car, the camera overheated again, but at least we got to get the nice views of the lake. I hope you guys enjoyed that. That is one of the most serene spots I've not only seen just here, but like ever actually, ever, ever, ever. So yeah, amazing. So guys, we are going to record until we get back to the 38. What's this road called? Jenks Lake Road. Jenks Lake Road, okay, we're on Jenks Lake Road. You can get here off of Highway 38, you guys. I see it every time I drive up. Doing a lot of the work you do, do you need one of those adventure passes? No, as long as I have the permit in my possession, it has an adventure pass on it. Nice, okay. Kind of figured something out.
guys enjoyed it. We're almost back at the 38. Thanks again. Thank you, Brian, again. Amazing, amazing that he, he did this for us. And hopefully we keep our fingers crossed uh, when he goes up on these other trails, if he wants our company, he knows we would love to go and uh, do some other kind of, uh, some videos that I wouldn't normally get to do. And it's all because of him. And uh, so we owe him a huge debt of gratitude. I'm very thankful for him. Hopefully you did enjoy what we just did today. And uh, yeah, I will be seeing you guys soon. This will be uploaded. Well, it's not gonna matter me telling you, but this will probably be uploaded on the 6th. Today is the 4th. So love you guys. Thank you again for everything, all the support. Uh, you guys mean a lot to me. I love doing these videos for you guys because you guys are very grateful and loving people. And uh, yeah, we will chat with you later. See you later, guys.